so 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 ready super ready so what made you so ready for this i don't want this to be like forever like you know like uh, we we have the tools we have science like why not we can do this so 
thankfully, yeah, it's it's here. And we've been asking like, oh, we, we need to do something. I hope there's a vaccine. And then and now it is. Like, we are so blessed we got this. <laughs> are you surprised that it took really such a relatively short period of time to get it? I am, well, to be honest, I believe in science and with our advanced technology compared to what we have in the older days with those small packs or missiles it would take. But what's important is we, the, the scientists follow the process, like they did clinical trials, they did the phase one, phase two, phase three. So there's nothing to worry about. It's like, you know, I believe in science. So. And so that yeah. means by by default, you believe in this vaccine. I oh my God, hundred percent. I believe in this vaccine, and uh, honestly, I, I don't I don't even worry. Or you know, they might say like you know you can't you can't. They might say like there's some reaction. I think I believe like normally when something like get into your skin or you're in your system your immune system would respond but that's temporary compare to what the COVID if it would get me what's the long-term effect on that on me and the worst is I have to pass it to my loved one who are more sick than me so I'd rather have this than the vaccine uh, I'd rather have this uh, vaccine than the COVID yeah. Yeah, sure. what do you tell those people who have never been around patients who have had COVID-19. You, you know what? That even uh, hearing that one, that makes me sad and makes me like really, um, well, it's, it really makes me sad and makes me cry because I work in the ER for 15 years. I've seen the worst. I've seen the worst cases. But let me tell you, COVID is not a joke. It's real. And I see people like dying by themselves because they can't even have their family come in because they're COVID. And uh, the sad thing is like, okay, you got this COVID, you feel fine, but well, how about your loved ones? You you pass it to your loved ones, and we don't even know what, how it affected them. And it's it's really different. Like um, they die by themselves, and slowly, slowly, you did everything, and it's so hard. Like. It's a different uh, virus that I've seen. Like our expert, they have to like discuss like what's the best treatment because it's a pretty challenging uh, disease. It's they should be aware like suffering. It's it's really hard. Like uh, yeah, it's suffering. It's like they they're killing the patient like slowly, and um, and you got lucky when you get out of this COVID. But the thing is, when you survive. We don't even know the long effect of that. Yeah, so I wish they would take this seriously because my. Get the vaccine when the time comes? You should have. Are you talking about yourself? I'm you better be. Anybody who's watching. <laughs> oh, please, please. Because um, prevention. Prevention. This vaccine is is to prevent you from getting the COVID. Yeah, prevention is better than cure. Because you can't even say that you will be cured. That's the question. But prevention, that's the first thing to fight this COVID. Vaccine, prevention, vaccine, prevention. Yeah, it feels good. I, I just wish everybody will get it. Yeah, and we will get it. We can end this. <laughs> So, Eric, what is this?
Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine 1.8 milliliters. Oh, okay. 